Hey everybody, Jamie from the Marine Doctors YouTube channel and I wanted to do a quick explanation of a cylinder drop test. I've got an engine here that's only running on three cylinders. It's a four cylinder, 90 horsepower Merc. So when we request that a cylinder drop test be done, what we want to do, it's a little bit simpler with this engine. We're not taking out the spark plug leads. I'm disconnecting the coils. We reach up and we disconnect the coil. Well, let me switch hands here so you guys can see better. So I'm going to disconnect this coil and see if the engine stalls. If it doesn't stall, it's that cylinder. So we give it a pull. It's stalled. We know that that cylinder is firing. So I'm going to go ahead and restart it. And then I'll show you the cylinder that's not working and what happens when we disconnect that lead. Just give me a sec here. With our dead battery. Hang on, you gotta put the pack back on. So sometimes customers bring stuff in that's not really ready to go and we have to do some other stuff with them and battery packs is sometimes one of them. All right, so we're started, we're ready to go again. Let's get back at it. So this time what we're gonna do is disconnect number four. And what we're gonna find is that the engine is gonna to continue to run the way it is. All right, so with number four disconnected, there was no change in the engine. We know that there's a problem with number four cylinder. It could be the spark plug, it could be a fuel delivery, or it could be the fact that there's no ignition. Well, we 100% know there's no ignition because I disconnected it. All right, so I'm gonna start with the spark plug, redo the test. Well, actually, if I restart it and it runs properly, we're gonna know it's already hooked up to the dyno. And that's going to tell me 100% if this engine is going to work when the customer gets out to the lake. So, to reiterate, the cylinder drop test is disconnecting one lead at a time to see if the engine changes. If it does change, it's, uh, it's not that cylinder. If it doesn't change, it is that cylinder, then we pursue that particular cylinder. We could even have low compression on that cylinder as an example. It doesn't necessarily have to be something on the outside. Alright, thank you.